Hi guys, and welcome to a follow-up vlog as well, or whatever do you call that? Second vlog? Just another vlog. And that's that's what you get for not doing these kind of things often enough. You don't know the system at all. Um, just going to talk a bit about uh, how the new CSGO update and like my feelings around this. Like, there's no doubt that this update is is is, is fine. Uh, there is 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 multiple things that's being fixed, addressed um, in this update. Uh, came three four days ago. Uh, it's still in beta branch, and and in theory, it's gonna solve some of the issues that we've been having for several years in, in Counter Strike. And uh, it's just minor bug fixes. And the issue is that, like, it feels like so little, so late. Um, Fair enough, we can be happy that they're finally doing it, but it shouldn't have taken them so long. Like, I, I, I think that's really where I find the issue in this. Like, yeah, you can and give credit where credit's due, but it's not like a, a impactful update. It's not like it's a it's a game-breaking, changing update. It's, it's like we all remember how many Molly Tov updates that had to go through before they got reasonable consistent in, in trying to smoke the shit out of them and stuff like that but it's kind of like the same now like yeah yeah th like on paper it's changing things but it is not necessarily a fix like yeah they're improving like with the with the picking up on use um e in general we don't know if it works 100 percent in all cases it's h hard to replicate but you know the moment that you're trying to pick something up that's within range and just not responding to you um, and and yeah, I'm like I'm a little bit scared, like a little bit scared of the headshot uh, hit, headshot boxes in the back. I'm starting to feel like that you're no longer having that like not safe zone, but you knew that if you were jumping, looking down with your back to an opponent, uh, opponent like getting that headshot on you was difficult. So you were like a little bit more safe, and I'm scared that it's gonna be like slaughter when you see people in the back now like that's that's good both good and bad but like like pissed around you're sneaking up behind a couple and you're guaranteed the headshots damn it's gonna look sweet though could be good but yeah my, my generally as like I, i'm just I, I feel like it's a tiny update like it's it's minor things. It's super minor things, and it's the only update we've gotten in like a long time, and it's probably one of the bigger ones. And still, like a, in an area where it's so small and such a minor, it should it's something that should come like regularly. Like all the minor things that we find annoying in Counter Strike should be worked on constantly, and not just like. We shouldn't celebrate like a tiny update like this is like you look at fortnite you look at other games that has like and maybe is it unfair to to compare them well it seems like it is like it's just apparently it's not the same like we we i don't know i i'm not happy with this update is it it's it's a fine update it's not the update itself that's wrong it's the consistency of them and the lack of other things and like i have a billion ideas of how to make counter strike more like casual in in some way or form uh and 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 make it more like feasible to make like like the operations it has always been a weird like why like it it kind of feels like the operation was an excuse to make more cases and make more money like oh we made an operation it wasn't like whoa operation finally and something new like you know in general when you have like operations it's kind of like the csgo expansion we never got anything that made sense in in form of an expansion or an operation like there's no reason to purchase the operation in fortnite when you buy a battle pass you get skins you get stuff like that you know it's true that you don't like get anything spectacular, but you got get the extra skins when you buy an operation. You don't really get shit. Um, like you play to bots, but it's not really Counter Strike. Counter Strike is is at least for me, it's it's always I like 
like the surf and all of those things or if you we're talking about like the multiplayer playing against other players in some way or form and bots is just very not counter-strike mentality um so yeah i'm i'm i think that that they are from valve's point of view they're not doing enough at all like they could keep the game alive and they can kill it and then feels like they've decided that that at least for now they're working on something super secret that we are not allowed to know and uh, it's only the true and hardcore fans who will stay there forever through the endeavors and and all the shit and hopefully they'll like then they'll be granted access to this sanctuary where we can all be happy and believe that they've been working on the secret project called source 2 that at the same time it's only panorama it's not really going to have any impact maybe a little bit more fps but in honesty it's not really like i i don't know i i'm, I'm starting to lose hope uh, because yeah they're saying they're working on source 2 and panorama is like the major thing and it's kind of like we all kind of hope that that's going to save counter-strike and when i mean like counter-strike will not die that's not that don't 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 think that that's what i'm thinking um I just think that Counter-Strike is not going to be the game it was. Counter-Strike used to be a, a game that had a lot of streamers doing a lot of things and there was room for a lot, but it's pretty dead uh, when it comes to those things. There's no, no longer any challenges for me to do. I've done and redone and done it again uh, many times so it's kind of like I've I feel personally that I've kind of died in it like doing anything besides just playing FPL because that's the only thing that is funny for me if we're not talking competitive counter-strike in form of teams and such and doing the whole team projects and stuff it just seems so out of it's just so such a huge project to take on by yourself um, and I'm not really interested in, 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 I am interested in doing the team project, but I'm just not interested in like having so much responsibility dropped on my shoulders kind of, uh, and do all of it. And I kind of feel like it's more than I can commit to, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how I feel about this update that it's a fine update. If you look at it and in a isolated, way but if you look at it in a perspective that that's the best update we've had in probably a year then no then it's not good enough and yeah like yeah yeah but yeah thanks for watching here guys i'll uh I'll find myself out. Hope you uh, want to debate with me, to be honest, because I need people to keep me positive in, in the forms of looking at the outlook on, on Counter-Strike. And uh, currently, I have a hard time understanding why Valve is, is fucking with me. But yeah, see you guys.